so good. It's not just for uh, lunch and dinner anymore. All right, it should be no surprise that the Winter Olympics have never had a bobsled team from Nigeria or even from the entire continent of Africa. But that's about to change, and these three women are at the helm. Ironically, their Winter Olympic dreams started right here in Houston. All of you uh, were born in America, but you have Nigerian roots. So tell me where you're from. Yes, indeed. Um, so my parents are from Lagos, Nigeria. So I am a Yoruba and I represent Surulay. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you were born in Chicago? I was born in Chicago. All right. All right, US hometown, St. Paul, Minnesota. My parents are from Abia State, Nigeria. Okay. Uh, U.S. hometown, Dallas, Texas. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and uh, my parents are from Umuchima, um, Emo State. Okay. All of you are athletic, and you actually competed uh, in the United States and in Nigeria before. So tell me what sports you were in. Um, I ran track and field primarily, and then I competed in track and field Chitty. for Nigeria. And for the U.S., I ran for University of Houston. Go, go. Yes. <laughs> All right. For me, I ran track at the University of Minnesota, Golden Gophers. Okay. <laughs> and I ran track at the University of Houston and ran track for the uh, Nigeria as well. Okay, so ran track, track and field, we all get that. And what we don't get is all of a sudden somebody says, hey, you know, you've mastered track and field. Why don't you, um, I don't know, bobsled? <laughs> Did you know what bobsled really was? Not what it really was. <laughs> all I knew of it was like the movie Cool Runnings, right. like everybody else knows, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I knew that a lot of track and field athletes that I had known before had gotten into the sport. And so that was what kind of lured me into the sport. And then um, after uh, a year of being a participant as a brakeman for the U.S. team was when I learned that, you know what, there are other opportunities to really help the sport, to help the continent of Africa, uh -huh. the country of Nigeria. And so that's when I ventured out to help try and create this federation, and then I uh, recruited them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so bobsled, yes. what did you know about bobsled. it? Bobsled, what I knew about bobsled is I had a weightlifting coach in college who was part of the U.S. team, so I knew a little bit about the sport mm -hmm. from her, but then I got suckered into the sport. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. 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 All right. the same, yep, exactly. And I knew absolutely nothing. Um, I started from ground zero, meaning what is bobsled, where does it happen, yeah, how does it right? happen, what are the degrees that we're going to be yeah. in, that You're type of thing. Right. What do you mean, cold weather? Right. <laughs> um, so I knew nothing about it, and Sean basically introduced it to me. Yeah, it's, it's almost like when you're a good athlete to begin with, that when something's presented to you, it's a challenge. You don't necessarily say no, right? But in this, what is the toughest part about bobsledding? And basically, give us uh, what, the, what the goal is. Yeah, well, the goal is, one, to be able to represent the continent of Africa um, at the Winter Olympic Games, because there's never been any country from Africa represented in the sport of bobsled in, it, in the that? history of it. I mean, I don't know, maybe because we're uh, sub-Saharan yeah. or something, you know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe because uh, there is hardly any snow anywhere in the continent. Um, but it's just like foreign land, you know, for the country. And I'm like, look, this is 2017. We've got all kinds of, you know, opportunities and people that live abroad and you've got everything. I mean, we should be able to have some type of representation there and really to be able to empower others yeah. to be able to you're, take on the fear of the unknown. You're all American because you were born here, but as we mentioned, your parents are from Nigeria. Why is it so important for you to kind of bring the two together? Of course, so for us, all of us, that's the country and that is the culture that we have all identified with um, primarily. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was almost a no-brainer when it was like, okay, U.S. or Nigeria. I know that Sean has her reasonings as well as in Gazi, but like we all have this common ground that that's the first culture and that's the culture that we love so that's yeah. what we're going to represent. Yeah, it's, it's the melting pot here but also explain to people so many things. Um, I find it interesting how many people think that Africa is a country. Right. Right. Yeah. Until, yeah, I was like, oh, she's from the country of Africa. No, right. <laughs> right. right. Uh, and then not understanding what African countries are, like Nigeria, for example. Right. So this is part of kind of bringing those two worlds together and then explaining to people what Nigeria is. So if somebody ne who's never been there before, explain what the country is like. So I would say that... Like your parents didn't have pet tigers and lions growing up, right? Oh, definitely <laughs> yeah, not. No. I, I definitely would say that Nigeria is one of the most, I guess, up-to-date African, you know, places that you can go. Um, it's very fast life type of living. You're going to meet a lot of friendly people, a lot of prideful people. I don't think we'll ever meet a Nigerian that's not prideful about where they're from. Um, and I think we took a lot of that from our parents. And that's why we wanted to be, you know, represent Nigeria because we are invested in what 
the seed the seed our parents planted. Yeah. And so I think when you talk about Nigeria as a whole, it's just a very prideful place. Everybody's very proud. Um, and it's also a very up-to-date place. Yeah, and it's that same mindset that you put into what you do in sports. Okay, bobsledding. For those of us who've never been in one, which is most people, okay? <laughs> so I, I think the, probably the closest thing to it is a Texas Rattler that I did uh, on the roller coaster, <laughs> right? So you get in there. Your very first time that you got in mm -hmm. to a bobsled, it's like, ready, set, go, and you all kind of jump on, right? And the important part, what this is right here, is this is where how you practice kind of your, your, your takeoff? Right. Yeah, this is the Mayflower. Um, we, it was built in, it was initially built in 2015, 16, um, for that season. And then it had, it's gone through some revisions over time where we actually added a driver box once I started the Nigeria team. But when I first built it, it was just the, this back part because yeah. I was just trying to practice how to be a brakeman on yeah. it, you know, it's <laughs> like. I need to come back to Houston all the time. I need to figure out how to stay in the loop. So yeah. that was it. All right. The very first time you actually did the bobsled. Oh, yeah. So the first time I got in there, I tried to play it off like I was okay. Yeah. But in my head, I was like, I'm not getting back up in there. It's, it was you awful. Scream. You just scream when you went down. You're like, woo. The whole right. time I was going down, I was like, Sean, what are you doing? Why are you in this sled? Yeah. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> But then I got out and I was like, first I had to catch my equilibrium because yeah. you're like all turned around. And then I was like, OK. I don't know if I'm going to get in there again. And then I got in again. Because yeah, you're an <laughs> athlete, right? Okay. For me, I was disappointed because I wanted to feel like a real life fast roller coaster, like a fun one. Uh huh. But it was like a painful, you know, yeah. to tossed around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. But yet you got back in it but again. But I got back yeah. in it again. Uh, all right. And I think my first time down, um, <laughs> coming back up, they're laughing about this because literally we talked about this. She wanted it to feel like a roller coaster. I did not. And so I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised it didn't. I was silent the whole way up. And they asked, OK, how do you feel? I was like, still trying to figure that out. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I, I don't have words right now. Mm -hmm. How do Nigerians react to you all? You, you all visited Nigeria recently. And so how do they react when you say, hey, we are representing this country. We're representing you all uh, in the bobsled competition. They I guess are. the first thing is probably like, what is bobsled? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but honestly, they're very proud of us. You know, we've gotten such warm welcomes from all the Nigerians, people non-Nigerian alike, mm -hmm. that have just praised our our courage to be able to do something like this, the innovation the innovation that we've brought to the country. So they've been, we've gotten great reception from yeah. the country. Where does it stand now? Like, where are y'all in the in the mix right now before competition? Um, right now, we have three more races that, um, so as I, as a driver, have to qualify us by racing five races on three separate tracks within two seasons. So we've done two on one track, and we just have three more that we need to do on two. So we are going to do that, by God's grace, in November. All right. Well, ladies, thank you very much for coming in and sharing this with us today. It's kind of the stories that we, most people don't know about. But at the end of the day, it's all about what sports, I think, really represents, especially in the international arena, and it's bringing the world together. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you so you. much yeah. for having us. And to learn more about the Nigerian bobsled team and to support their quest for Olympic gold, you can visit greatdayhouston.com.